The Scion IA is all new for the 2016 model year, and it's a completely new compact sedan in the Scion lineup. I really like this vehicle. This is the second time I've managed to get behind the wheel, and I'm still really impressed. I really like the exterior styling. Um, the From the side and from the back, it looks like just your normal everyday compact sedan, but when you move around to the front, it's kind of like, ah, it's a little bit of a surprise. Uh, it's not what you would expect um, because it's it's definitely a little bit aggressive and bold, and uh, I really like it. I, I think they did a, a good job making this distinctive uh, in the compact car segment. Base price for this car is under 17,000. I believe it's 157 uh, with a manual transmission. And in, with that comes uh, a whole bunch of standard features like a uh, low speed pre-collision safety system, uh, dual USB ports, um, backup camera, rear backup camera, and um, I find this really impressive, uh, push button start. I think that's really cool that you get that under 17000 If you would like to add an automatic transmission, uh, it, the price for that is uh, $1,100. The interior finishes I think are really nice. I love the leather appointments on the dash with the blue stitching. Um, you know, all of the touch points are solid. Uh, I like the steering wheel with the audio controls and the, um, you know, the cruise control uh, controls on, on, on the steering wheel. Um, overall, very comfortable vehicle. The seats are really nice the headrests are good and uh, this is just a really smooth driving vehicle it comes with 1.5 liter four-cylinder engine that delivers 106 horsepower and I think that's actually really decent for a car of this size I'm I'm a pretty aggressive uh, well I'm a really aggressive driver and uh, I think that this is perfectly powered it does everything that I need it to do so overall, I think that the IA is a great entry in the compact sedan segment, and uh, I think that Cyan really knocked this out of the park. So if you are looking for a small car, city car, uh, and, and you don't want to pay more than $20,000, um, this is definitely one of those vehicles that you should add to your must-test list.